Hello everyone, in this video we are going to export game assets from PlayStation games like Uncharted 4 and The Last of Us. I'll guide you through the process step by step, so by the end of this video you'll be able to have game mesh files and textures and other assets. Then import them into Blender and use them to create amazing mods or fan arts. So let's get started. To get it started, we first need to unpack the game files. For this, you'll use the PSR archive tool, which is available on Nexus Mods. I've included the download link in the video description. Once you've downloaded the tool, open it and extract everything inside it to a new folder. Now, head over to your game installation directory. For example, here is my installation directory for Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. Inside, locate this DLL file, then copy and paste it into the folder where we extracted PSR tool earlier, here. Next, we need to locate files that contains game assets. For Uncharted, these are stored in the Uncharted 4 data folder. Navigate to this folder, then go to Build and PC, where you'll find the subfolders for the game versions. Choose the one you want to work with, either the last legacy or the main Uncharted 4, and open it. Inside, you'll see several files. Each contains different assets. For example, the file named Actor77 contains character models. Let's extract the contents of this file. To do this, simply drag and drop the file onto unpsarc.x. This file was inside PSR archive. The extraction process will start automatically. Wait for it to finish and you will have access to the files. Once the extraction is complete, you'll find the unpacked pack files in the same directory where the actor 77 was located. A new folder will have been created containing all the extracted assets from the actor 77 file. These pack files can be opened with noises. Then we can export them as FBX or any format and import them into Blender. Let's download Noesis. Go to this website and download it from this link. Open the downloaded file and extract everything to a new folder. Now, before we open it, we need a plugin to view these pack files. There is one on this GitHub page which I put the link in the video description. Download it. Open the file and this folder. We need these two files. Go to Noises installation directory and open plugins folder, then Python. Then select these two files and put them here, just like that. Next, we need to edit the fmtnd pack py script this file. Open the file using Notepad or any similar text editor. Once it's open, scroll down to the section where the path for the game files is. This script supports four games, The Last Legacy, Uncharted 4, The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2. Since we are working with Uncharted 4, we need to update the directory path to match where we exported our game assets. To do this, locate the path where the Actor 77 folder is, not inside the folder itself, but where the Actor 77 folder is located. Now go to that folder, click on the address bar at the top, then right click and select copy address as text. Once you've copied the path, return to the script and on this section, paste the copied path in between the quotation marks. These ones. Just like that. Next, make sure to replace all single backslashes with double backslashes. Add another one. And don't forget to add two backslashes at the end of the path here. Finally, it should look like this. Then save it. Before we open Noises, we also need to unpack the high-resolution textures for the game. 
This is important because low quality textures won't work properly. For Uncharted 4, the high resolution textures are located in the Texture Dict 2 file. To unpack it, follow the same process as before, just like we did with the Actor 77 file. After the unpacking is done, we should have two new folders, Actor 77 underscore unpacked and Texture Dict 2 underscore unpacked. Now here is a crucial step. We have to rename these two files by deleting this part of their name, underscore unpacked, from both of them. If we don't delete this part, the noises can't load them, so make sure to delete it. After renaming the folders, you're all set. Now go ahead and run the noises x file to proceed with extracting the assets. Once you've launched the Noises, navigate to the directory where you extracted the game assets. Specifically locate the Actor 77 and Texture Dict 2. Open the Actor 77 folder after you find it. And you should see a list of pack files. These files organized alphabetically, making it easier to find what you're looking for. For example, if you're searching for Elena's assets, look for files starting with E. Most of her assets should be here. And by file names you can identify which one is for what part of her model. Now, to load an asset, double click on the file. You will see a new window showing what's selected and what will be loaded. Keep in mind that many pack files contain only one part of a model, not a complete model, only part of it. If you want to load additional parts of the same model so you can have a complete model, you can double click on the related parts, related pack files, to add them to the load section before proceeding. So, I add all other parts of this model as well. Next, make sure to check the Add Textures box and the Base option, this one. This ensures the skeleton and textures are applied. Then click load. Give it a few seconds and the selected assets will appear in the viewport. Here you can inspect the models. Now let's troubleshoot common issues. If your model loads without the skeletons, it means the base pack file wasn't loaded. Always include it when loading your asset or check this box. If you see black lines covering the model, it's because low quality textures were loaded. This issue is often due to incorrect path settings in the script, or incompatibility with the game version. For example, I encountered black lines issue when loading models of The Last of Us Part 1, and my path is cracked. But don't worry, I'll share a quick and easy solution for that in a moment. Now, let's move on to exporting the assets from Noesis so we can use them in Blender. The method I recommend for exporting assets is this. Start by loading the assets you want to export into Noesis 3D Viewer. This will ensure the model and its textures are properly displayed. Next, go to the file and select Export from Preview. This will bring up export setting menu. Set the export directory. Choose a folder where the exported files will be extracted. Give the extracted file a name, anything you want. Next, select the main file type. Choose FBX as the export format. Then select your preferred texture format. Options include JPEG, PNG, DDS and many more. The rest of the settings can remain unchanged, unless you have a specific requirements. Once you've configured the settings, click Export, and wait a few seconds for the process to complete. Next, navigate to the folder you selected for the export. Then you'll find the texture files and FBX file here. Download Blender, any version you prefer, 
from the official website and install it. After installation, open Blender and select General to start a new project. Select all default objects in the scene and press Delete to remove them. Go to the Modeling workspace at the top. From the menu, navigate to the file, Import, FBX. Locate the FBX file you exported from Noesis. Select it and click Import FBX. There you have it. The imported model will appear in the viewport. And you can delete, edit and do anything with it you want. Change the viewport to this and go to shading. Then let's begin adding textures to our model. Select your model and click on the Material Properties tab. The materials for each object should already be set up. Select the material and locate its corresponding texture nodes. For instance, the base color node, which is this one, controls texture color, a color texture, the base color for the model. The normal map node controls surface details. It's purple. Click Open on each node, this option, then navigate to your model's texture file and select the corresponding texture for that part of the model, for that material. Then it will apply on your model. Do this for all other materials as well. After applying textures, some materials may have incorrect settings. Set metallic to zero if the object isn't supposed to have a metallic surface. Adjust the roughness. And uh, for some objects, the material might include a normal map node that isn't needed, so delete it. And that's it. We have the model in Blender with textures on it. When you encounter the issue of textures not loading correctly, like black lines on the model, we can use an alternative approach, another tool to extract high-quality textures and manually apply them in Blender. For the last of us part 1, the spcommon psarc file contains both the mesh and texture files for character models. Here is how to handle it. Use the same method as before to unpack the psarc file. Update the path in the script to point the directory containing the extracted files. And don't forget to delete this part of the folder name. Open Noises and try to load the mesh and textures. If you notice the textures won't load, or load but they are low quality textures with black lines, Proceed with the following steps. In Noesis, select only the mesh files and the skeletons. Uncheck the option to include textures, this one. Export the assets without any textures. They should export perfectly fine. Next, download the texture browser for the Last of Us PC from this Discord channel linked in the video description. A direct download link also included. Once downloaded, extract the content of this file into a folder. Launch the tool, and in the menu that opens, select Load Pack. Navigate to the Unpacked Texture Dict folder, which contains the texture pack files. Each pack file contains textures for different assets, and there are lots of textures inside them. You'll need to check them individually to find the ones you need for your model. For example, I am using this specific pack file. Use the filters and the search bar to locate the textures for your asset. 
Once you find the desired textures, select them and click export as DDS. The exported textures will be saved in the tools root folder inside this folder. Now, import your untextured mesh file into Blender, then apply the exported textures manually using the shading workspace, just like before. But for some reason, these DDS files can't directly apply on the model in Blender. First open them with Photoshop or any image editor and export them as JPEG or PNG formats. Then apply them on your model in Blender. That's all for this video. If you want more information about modding these games, be sure to check out this GitHub page linked in the video description. And if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comments. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.